Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I'm going to unbox a wig from Lily Hair. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I have in this box a wig from Lily Hair. So we're going to open it and we're going to take a look at it. Now this is a human hair wig, which is kind of a departure from what I normally do, but I really loved my last Lily Hair wig, so I think this one's going to be good too. So let's open her up, see what's in here. Oh goodness, that's it's hard to get open. So let's try that again. I've got my trusty scissors out, so let's go with this and let's see what we can do. Okay. I'm in a little bit different spot today in my office because the sun keeps following me around and causing a shadow. So I'm trying to get in a spot where I can do this and it won't be distracting to you guys. So, oh goodness. Okay. You know, Lily Hair always has some really, really beautiful boxes. I mean, really nice. Look at that. Isn't that packaged really pretty? Now, it says, Lily Hair, we live only to discover beauty. All else is a form of waiting. So, let's open this up, see what we got here. This is packaged really, really nicely. I want to make sure that I preserve this box because I love to keep my boxes to keep, to keep the wigs in. Now, let's see what we've got. The description reads like this, and I always like to do this with Lily Hair because I want to make sure I get everything in here about the wig because there is a lot with the human hair wig. This says the color is H12-26, length as pictured, 5 inches all over, cap design CAP-PU1. Um, let's open her up and let's look at her. Oh, wow. A brush. Look at that. That's metallic and shiny. Oh my goodness. I'm like Dory when I get something like this. Oh look, something shiny. That could easily distract me for 15 minutes. There is... I don't know what that is, but let's get it out and look at it here. This is a wig cap, which you guys know I love. And let's look and see what this little thing is. I don't know what this is, but it looks like it might be a little hairband, but I'm not sure what this is. Oh, would you look at that? How cute. Oh my goodness. I don't, I'm not 100% certain what that is, but it's hair. Look at that. That is adorable. I don't know if it's a bracelet or if it's like something that you put in your hair for like a, a little hair tie. It might be if it is. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest thing, like, ever that I've ever seen. So, let's look at this wig. Let's get her out, and let's play with her just a bit. Now, this looks like it's just a bit, maybe a little longer than the last one that I did a review on, just from first glance. So, let's open this up. Get her out of here. She wants to be free. So, let's take this off. Gosh, her hair is so soft. Lily Hair does human hair wigs pretty doggone well, I've got to say. The hair is very, very silky, very soft. And, gosh, goodness. She's got, let's look on the inside, she's got the closed cap with the adjustable tabs. Now let me read the numbers. This is TC-19006, number H12-26. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust these, these straps right here. And she's got the velvet tabs on the side and there's a little piece of metal inside that so you can bend those tabs and it'll lay flat against your head. I love that. Um, the nape is just a little bit extended and it's a velvety feeling nape. The top, look at that, it's a mono top. So let me pop her on my, on my head. I'll be right back if I can keep my hands out over long enough. Now, 
here she is right out of the box. I have done absolutely nothing to her except plop her on my head. But let's look at this top. Look at that. I mean, that's really, really nice. You can part this wig pretty much anywhere between here and here that you want to. I normally go this way on my part just simply because that's what I'm used to doing, I've done that for years, and that's where my part is gonna fall. Now, let me get her situated good on my head because I, I feel like, yeah, there we go. I got her a little, had her a little far back there. But I'm gonna bend the tabs down just a bit here on the side, and my goodness, she's just as cute as she can be. I love this little wig. Let me flip around and let you all see all the way around. Now. A human hair wig, for those of you who are not familiar with human hair wigs, I'm going to tell you this has definitely been a learning curve for me. I had never worn a human hair wig until I wore a lily hair wig. And I have worn a wig that was a, a mixture of human hair and synthetic hair, and I actually liked it okay. But once you put on a human hair wig and you just feel of the wig, the feel and the texture of the hair is entirely different than a synthetic. Now, this wig cap actually fits pretty doggone well. I would probably sew some combs in it just because I'm used to combs in my wigs. And I sew combs in pretty much all my wigs because I like them. Um, but my goodness, she's very lightweight. The feel of this wig is just, I mean... It's just heavenly. This wig feels so, so good. The hair doesn't feel like synthetic at all. So if you're used to a synthetic wig, wearing a human hair wig is going to feel totally different. Um, let me style her just a bit, and I'll be right back. One thing you want to make certain that you do with your human hair wigs is get in here where where all this is, just like you do with your synthetic wigs, and just kind of work the hair loose because when you get a human hair wig and it comes right out of the box I mean honestly being totally honest with you it's going to be a, hot, a little bit of a hot mess because it isn't styled it just comes straight from the from the showroom exactly like this and you know you got to mess with it just a little bit so I'm going to go back here and mess with it some more I'll be right back Okay, so here she is after I have styled her just a bit. Now, let me turn around so you guys can see all the way around. Now, when you style a human hair wig, it is much different than styling a synthetic. Synthetics, some of the times you can just shake them and go. You're not going to be able to do that with a human hair wig. You have to style them just like you would your regular hair. So I took her back into the into my bathroom and I used a um, curling iron on her and straightened out the hair just a little bit. I didn't use my flat iron because they get really hot, but I did use my curling iron and just ran it through her right like this and flattened her out just a bit. And her hair feels so, so good. She is so lightweight on my head, and I love these little adjustable tabs on the side. I want to take her to my stylist sometime between now and the end of the year, or maybe the first of the year, and have her just do some a little bit of work to this wig. I don't care to cut my synthetic wigs because I kind of know how to cut that hair, but there is no way that I'm going to attempt to cut a human hair wig. No way. No, no, no. So... I have put just a little clip right here in the top just to kind of give it a little bit of shape and style. And here is the wig. Okay, so I've got to say another hit for Lily Hair. You guys have a great day. Visit my website and visit my store, OneBraveWidow.com, and I have a store on Amazon. I will drop a link for this hair and everything that I've used on the hair down in the description box below the video. And if you'll click underneath the video, there's a little arrow on the right-hand side. If you'll just click down, the description box will open up, and you can see everything that I've done today. So you guys have a great day. 
God bless you. Maranatha.